our core focus is in the depth of the innovation chasm. That's where it's hardest to build and where the most valuable transformative technologies get stuck. So we get involved very early with builders at the very beginning of their journeys. We help them scale up uh, and start up, whether they're uh, startups that are going to follow a traditional path with accelerators, um, VC, and so on, or whether they're network-oriented teams that are doing um, R&D and public goods creation. And believe it or not, we're still in the early stages of Web3. So for early stage builders, we set out to create radically open on-ramps for anyone in the world to join us and get building. I just want to highlight a few of these programs. Hackathons. Hackathons are an amazing way to learn, experiment, and in invent with our stack. Over 70,000 builders have joined hackathons building on Protocol Labs technology so far. With 3,000 projects finished and submitted, many of those going on to turn into companies, projects, and having uh, lives and destinies beyond you know, what you could have dreamed of in a few weeks. And hackathons aren't just for new devs. We also see lots of experienced folks entering them to try and learn new skills. So our next big hackathon is in mid-November. It's the FBM hackathon run by ETH Global, where you can be one of the first wave of people to build on the Filecoin virtual machine. Now, building on Frontier Tech can be lonely, can be hard. Not everyone can afford to take the time or the funds they need to try it out, right? So we have uh, the microgrants program, which is a ridiculously easy way to support people who have built an MVP and want to keep going. And uh, you can op apply through open issues on GitHub. We've made it extremely fast. Finally, uh, Check out the request for startups list. Um, it is a list of ideas with new, for new business models in Web3. Um, and all you have to do is execute. That's the easy part, right? Um, but seriously, check that out um, if you, you know, are looking for an idea and want to understand how, you know, what the opportunities are in this brave new world. And finally, moving a, a bit more along to more mature projects, the Developer Grants Program has been running for several years now in collaboration with the Filecoin Foundation. And this is where um, we have uh, mid-sized grants for projects that really move the needle for IPFS, Filecoin, libp2p, and more. And many of the developer tools that you know and love today, as well as the Filecoin Green Grants program, has come out of the developer grants. Now, for startups that are ready to go all in, we've built an accelerator program. More than 17 of them, in fact, run with partners like Outlier, Alliance, Tachyon, Techstars, and many more. These are super intensive, usually three-month programs that help with go-to-market, positioning, legal, the list goes on. And in less than two, two years, 176 teams have graduated from these programs. This summer and fall, when it become more important than ever to get fundraising right, we launched a soft noise intro platform in the fill.vc event series to help these teams succeed. You'll hear more about them in a moment. Today, Accelerator grads have raised over $100 million in capital, including from PL Ventures, and they're just getting started. In fact, many of these startups and founders and teams are sitting right next to you, um, beside you, in front of you. Please meet them, get to know their stories. There's a lot to build together. Can't wait for the future. And I just wanted to thank the entire Builders Funnel team um, who has made all this possible. <laughs> PL also incubates new businesses. Uh, we started on this path uh, first with CoinList, which started off as a project uh, to help ourselves uh, create the, the Falcon token sale. Uh, that has been, has, CoinList has turned into a tremendous, very successful company. Earlier this year, Number Zero and Tefra Labs uh, started off in a similar way. Web3 Storage and NFT Storage are projects that are turning into startups coming ahead. PL also creates new crypto networks. Falcon is, the, of course, the major one. And we also work with and interact with many other crypto networks. As the FVM arrives, there will be a whole host of L2s. Think of computer over data networks, retrieval market networks, and so on. So that will be a very exciting part of next year.